<clears throat> I wanted to apologize. It has been a couple weeks since I've made a video, since I've uploaded, so I just wanted to give you a quick message. I didn't forget about you. Um, I do apologize. I've had a really crazy couple of weeks. I um, haven't really had time. But I want to hope you guys enjoy this video top 10 Family Matters episodes. Thank you. That's one of the most famous lines by Stephen Q. Urkel. Family Matters was an American sitcom that ran from 1989 to 1997. And it was a show that followed this African-American family in the city of Chicago. And this was one of my favorite shows. And for this top 10 list, we are going to show you what I call the top 10 Family Matters episodes. So let's get cracking. A toast to Rachel's place and its beautiful owner. Thank you. <laughs> Number 10. Rachel's Place. In this season 2 premiere, Laura and Steve got jobs at a diner called Leroy's when Rachel could not find a job to help out with the bills for the Winslow family. But when Steve ends up burning down Leroy's, it finally gets Rachel an opportunity to become self-employed. With the help of her brother-in-law and her sister Carl and Harriet, she can make it happen. But unfortunately, Carl and Harriet just could not afford to give her the loan she needed. So, Grandma sailed to the rescue. This episode shows the importance of believing in family and helping them as much as you can. <laughs> Number 9. Marriage 101. In this season 2 episode, Laura is absolutely horrified when she begins to be paired up with Steve in a class project. Now the class project is basically an experiment to show the students just what it would be like to be married. And as Laura is constantly annoyed by Steve, basically smothering her, she finally flips when he purchases an $800 ring as a gift. She hurts Steve's feelings and Laura begins to feel bad. But in the midst of Laura, Talking to her mother about Steve smothering her, her mother reminds her that being romantic is a great quality for a husband. And while Carl overhears this, he realizes that he needs to be a better husband. That's why I wanted you to have this. No strings attached, just the one to my heart. Number eight, saved by an Urkel. Dad! What's with those Carl, Carl! Dad, wake up! Is his heart beating? I don't think so. Jumping right to season 5, Carl gets electrocuted by a lamp that he fixed after Steve Urkel tells him that he had exposed wires. He didn't listen to Steve and ended up getting shocked bad enough that his heart stopped. Steve ended up saving his life with CPR that he learned just a couple years prior. After the big event, everyone began being just super nice to Steve. So, like, so nice that... It was beginning to make Steve uncomfortable. He started to feel like they're only being nice to him because he saved Carl's life. And to be honest, that, well, it, it was true. But as, and it's funny because as Eddie says, you know, after what you did, at least I can do is put up with you. <laughs> so Steve finally had to talk with Carl explaining the situation and that he doesn't want anyone to look at him differently just because he saved Carl's life. But after this episode, he became better friends with the Winslow family. Face it, dude, if you hadn't given him CPR, he would have died. You're a hero. Well, gosh, I guess I am. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, we're doomed. He's the only one that knows what to do. Number seven, false arrest. Can I help you, officer? Uh, sorry to bother you, <laughs> but uh, Mr. Goodrich's car is parked in a handicapped spot. I'd appreciate somebody moving it. Of course. Let me just get the keys. Don't let the title of this fool you. See, the arrest that Carl made in this episode was not actually false at all. Carl makes an arrest to a TV star that is of Buddy Goodrich's show. The whole Winslow family gets upset at him for arresting what they call America's favorite dad. But in reality, he's not a good person at all. 
I mean, he might be a great man behind the TV screen, but in real life, not so much. He was arrested for assaulting a police officer, and when he goes to the Winslow home to, quote, make amends, all he really does is just try to woo the family and bribe Carl Winslow. If he goes to court and pleads guilty, that will look bad for his show and his career. You are going to do what? You heard me. Uh, look, you don't seem to understand. I'm not moving the car, and you are not giving me a ticket. Am I getting through? <clears throat> you know, Mr. Goodrich, you ought not shove a police officer. Oh, that was just tapping. This is shoving. Oh. Now, you did that again. Yeah. I kind of enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you anymore. Oh, you didn't like that? No. Then you're going to hate this. Oh, Mr. Goodrich, you are under arrest for assaulting a police officer. Number six. Words hurt. So Steve gives Carl a rude awakening by bopping him over the head with a newspaper in the middle of the night. To the Winslow's distress, they decide to hire a psychiatrist. While under hypnosis, they actually find out that Steve is actually upset at Carl for something that he said that he basically hated Steve. Carl denies it and gets hooked up to a polygraph test, finding out that he doesn't actually hate Steve. I mean, he does care about him. It just might not be his favorite person. Everything worked out just fine. I'm glad. So, Carl, how many women were you serious about before me? None, dear. Uh, three. Steve, get these things off of me. Oh, come on, Carl, how many? Uh, uh, Twelve. Oh, oh my God. All we want is a safe playground for the kids. So if you're smart, you'll leave right now. <laughs> if you're stupid, all your friends and relatives will soon visit you in the trauma unit. Number five, Karate Kids. When Steve gets hired as a playground supervisor, he gets pushed around by these really tough bullies. And he said it himself, they can mess with him all they want, but leave the kids alone. So he uses his transformation chamber to change 3J himself and Little Richie into martial arts experts. Like something right out of a Bruce Lee movie. Number four, the substitute suck. Still on these karate episodes, this is the very first time Steve transforms himself into a martial arts expert. Bruce Lee. Steve wants to defend Laura's honor when she has been insulted at a bar that she usually doesn't find herself in very often. No one messes with Wah Winswolf. <laughs> you know, when I was in high school, my biggest fear was getting a pimple the night before the prom. Number three, the gun. After Laura is robbed, she considers to buy a gun. Now this is an episode that really deals with people getting killed due to gun violence. They decide to have a rally where only just one person turns in their gun. But that's enough. Just one person, one life can make a difference. I'm Kelly Shanine Williams. And I'm Jalil White. And every day in America, children are killed with firearms. And every day, kids in this country carry guns to class. How many of you know someone that carries a gun? If you're aware of a crime that's being committed in your school, don't just ignore it. Act on it. If you know someone's carrying a gun or selling a gun, tell someone. Yeah, tell your parents, a teacher, or a school counselor. We have to do something about teen violence. And if you're in a confrontation, it's okay to walk away. Yeah, and let's start saving lives. Number two, life of the party. Laura's friend Maxine is having a party on the roof of her apartment. This is another episode that deals with something tough in our youth, which is underage drinking. Steve ends up getting drunk from a punch bowl, which is spiked, and which no one knows about it. Rachel has to save his life because he goes out onto the ledge of the roof and almost falls. But on a happy note, this is the first time you ever get to see the famous Urkel dance. Urkel dance? All you have to do is hitch up your pants. 
your knees and stick out your pelvis. I'm telling you, baby, it's better than a sleep. <laughs> just to see a bloodbath? That's why I'm here. What about you guys? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, number one, In a Jam. Now, I chose this one for number one because it deals with something that I've dealt with as a kid, like, all my life. Bullying. Steve gets bullied by this kid that always just takes his money. When Steve finally stands up to him, Eddie Winslow steps in to help him. Nobody deserves to be treated like that. Good afternoon, Bull. You're looking dapper as usual. <laughs> I'm gonna give you one last chance, Weasel. Hand over the money. Sorry, Bull, but the bank is closed. Huh? Okay. Nice knowing you, dweeb. <laughs> Hold it! So that's our list of the top 10 Family Matter episodes. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. And also, be sure to hit the notification bell so that you never miss out on a video. Thank you guys for watching, and remember to always stay different and stay unique. God bless you. Did I do that? And the next video will be... Random Ben videos.